morning, happy people. I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we're getting ready to head up to the north country of Alaska. I'm meeting up with Tate Bradfield and his friend Herb. This is a 100% do-it-yourself moose hunt in the middle of nowhere. We got a boat. We're going on the Yukon River. Super dangerous, very hard. Good, 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 good. Full of excitement. I don't know how we're gonna get him out, son, but me and the LT can just let one rip. I have no idea what to expect. Always bring a lighter and some toilet paper. If you don't have to do something, you're gonna have to do the other. What's your name, man? Javier. Javier? This guy right here is awesome, and everyone's been super nice. Uh, awesome was up all night last night making jerky. That's from our deer that we just killed in Kentucky. Look at that. Look at you. <laughs> Look at everyone, they're just having fun here. <laughs> I can't possibly say enough good things about Alaska Airlines. This is the first time I've ever flown them and they were as courteous and nice as I could possibly imagine. Next stop, Anchorage. Hey, we're making our way. We've been traveling a lot lately. We went Orlando to Seattle, Seattle to Anchorage, Anchorage to Bethel. Then tomorrow, we take a charter plane to the outside of the bush. Oh my God. I am so oh, stoked. It's so crazy. Listen, you guys, this is no joke. We are in Bethel, Alaska right now. I was just sitting right there and she comes down and she squats down, she goes, have you ever been in Tinian? I'm like, tau tau Tinian. I'm like, no way. When we were there in 2020, there was a, a bunch of girls that sang and welcomed us to Tinian. And she was one of the girls. Look at this. That's crazy. You're right here in this video. So that was that one night that we Look danced. That. Um, is, is that in Tinian or Saipan? In, in, in Tinian, in Taga Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, the Chamorros, the everyone in the CNMI, love you guys. And as you can see, y'all are representing. We'll Have see a you good soon. one. Okay. Bye. Made my day. Hey, here's our man right here. This captain right here. Hey. I got the captain. No? Captain somewhere. This girl right here, she's been giving me lip the whole time, but we love her anyway. Hey, see y'all later. Bye, guys. We're out of here. Yeah. See you later. Have a great time. <laughs> hey, I'm, the cameraman never fails, right? <laughs> you guys have a good day. Have a good one. The weather feels so nice, man. I like, it feels perfect. Welcome to the beautiful island of Tinian. We got weapons, y'all. <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much. You're very welcome. Follow me to the back. Yes, ma'am. Get all your stuff done. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, you very much. You guys be careful out there, okay? Will do. Can 
last night we made it we ate at this place called uncommon you guys eat some pizza man if y'all are hungry get some and so i ordered a bunch of pizzas because everyone's about to take off and fly out might as well not fly on an empty stomach huh they make the best pizza yeah. I am like the most excited person in the world right now. <laughs> Grant Aviation, look at that. Big old Cessna Caravan. Got the luggage rack down there. Dude, right there's where it's at. It's gonna be a long time till we get uh, good food again. When's the last time you walk on a plane with a slice of pizza? Right? <laughs> When was the last time you jumped on a plane and were this excited? Never. Never. <laughs> Hashtag never. This is real, you guys. All right, guys, welcome on board. My name's Odd. I'll be bringing you guys out today. Make sure you have your seatbelts on during the entire flight. Since I was a little kid, I've looked forward to going moose hunting on a river like we are right now. It's, it's, it's like an emotional, spiritual moment. Last year having a stroke and being in an ICU and working my way all the way back to a moment like this, very, very, very special. I'd like to say thank you to Grant Aviation for getting all our gear on this plane and uh, let the good times roll. you're wondering how much stuff uh, four guys bring, about this much. These? They're pretty big. Does this make a perfect fit? <laughs> There's a reason it fits like that. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to shoot that with your bow. <laughs> that's meant for a seven millimeter. <laughs> that's like... That's uh, 50 BMG status right yeah, there. Right. Keeping all my batteries in here this trip. 100% waterproof dry bag. They said prepare for rain every day. Everything I got right here, ready to go. Let's do it. Lord, I thank you for today. And I thank you for everything that you've given us. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for all of our families. And I pray that you look over them. Pray that you give us a good week and give us guidance and knowledge just to be the best that we can be. Shoot straight and have a great time. Lord, thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Now, let's go kill a moose. As you can see, we're in 40 feet right here, but it's going to come right up. This is yeah. a slough where water drains into the river. This Yukon River, it's like bigger than the Mississippi. Here, we're coming up right now. We're at 25, so... There's gonna be all kinds of sticks and logs and who knows. If we hit anything, I would rather not hit it going fast. But it sink, it's uh muddy. Yeah. It's that okay. deep. Walker, if you look right up there, there's a stump. You can probably go to that and tie it. Up there? Yeah. Well, good morning you guys. It's the first morning. We're here on some back slough on the edge of the Yukon River. We were about as far out in the middle of nowhere as you could possibly be. First things first, we got zero rifles, no instruction, just desire. Let's get it. If, it, if we miss, it ain't the gun's fault. We hit the bullseye. So this is the first morning. We came about 25 miles up the river. Then we took a right, went up this big slough and we found a spot to camp. Because now we're gonna continue on another 20 miles looking for just the perfect spot. We've got eight days, so we don't wanna rush things. We wanna figure it out and just keep stacking information trying to find a big bull. 
This is our gun. It's a Tika T3. It's the Rock Tech. It's got Hornady 162 grain ELDX. Really good bullet. One thing that I love is the Silencer Central Banish. It's a backcountry suppressor that really makes it easy to shoot. Takes a lot of the recoil out. Takes a lot of the sound out so you can really enjoy shooting. And then on top we've got the RTX 3 by Burris. This system is absolutely perfect for these big bull moose. That'll work. Everything here is wet and you're constantly on the move. So keeping your gun ready so that when you get a shot, everything is perfect, super important. This is a, a, a gun cover made by, by a caribou gear that's specifically made for this. And under, like, really fast, you can get this off really fast in any situation. But at the same time, it completely covers your gun, your optic, your bullets, everything, so you're ready to go. If I ever wanted to get rid of Austin, now would be the time. <laughs> Look at this. These are bear tracks from bear. last night. See how that's flipped over? Austin's stuck in the mud. As if, as if this doesn't look like quicksand already. Let's just go swimming in that. I was following the bear tracks, all right? <laughs> yeah, well, you ain't a bear. Austin, you know it's a lot easier to walk when you're not covered in mud. Just had to break them in, you know? Make sure they're not leaking. Yeah. Frog togs for life, baby. You're totally good to go. Okay. All right, you guys, hop in. All aboard. Austin, don't jump back in the water, okay? Austin's out of breath and he walked eight yards. <laughs> <laughs> Artika traveled around the world and uh, yeah, it's shooting good. All right, you guys, so here's the scoop. Um, we just left, we just left camp. Got everything picked up. It was very important to leave it as good or better than we found it. This thing is popping. Alright. The problem right now is as we're driving up the Yukon. This little fuel line keeps popping off. These engines run on two separate fuel lines to two separate tanks. This one pops off, it's just a bad connection, but when you're out here in the middle of nowhere, you gotta make it happen. So he's gonna tie this on. Oh shoot, I'll hold it and you tie it. You gotta be handy living out here. Huh? You gotta yeah. be handy living out here. See anything more beautiful in my life? I can't believe I'm standing right here. Oh, look at this. There's a moose rub right here. I'm going to show you guys this. What we're doing right now is just cruising down the river. And we're using our onyx and we're scrolling through looking for these meadows onyx is absolutely 
a game changer out here. Look at this rub right here. Look how he just just snapped this tree, dude. Holy crow. The only thing out here that's doing this is a big old moose. I cannot believe this is happening. You can smell them right now. It's like a, if you've ever shot a bear, it's kind of like a sweeter version of a bear. That's a bigger track there. Huh? Oh, there you go. That's a much bigger track. Yeah. What do you want to do, Croc? Hang a tree stand and sit right there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a rub right there, like oh my gosh, it's just so destroyed. Track in there that's and you can you can smell the moose. Kind of fresh. Oh yeah. Yeah, he just snapped it. You see all the cat tracks, Robert? I believe those are lynx. We just made about a 30 mile run and don't fall down. I'm gonna hit the bank right here. There we go. We're gonna ease up here, tie the boat up, make camp. Uh -huh. that, that coffee needs to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. That Maxwell house right there. We got some New England clam chowder. I looked at him once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's got a floor. Yeah. <laughs> Still got a little moisture in there. Dude, I tried to get him not to do that. He's like, I'm just gonna throw the thing down there. <laughs> oh, is there? This is what I call epic. You can just talk to people, like it just comes naturally. That's pretty cool. We got fish out of that. <laughs> and fish and miss. Yeah, a piece of meat. I've got real dinner. <laughs> Literally, they just came by. And right away they asked us for some motor oil, some oil for their boat. So we gave it to them, but we didn't want anything in return. But they gave us moose meat and fish. And then I realized they're actually paying us back with fish and moose meat. So I don't know who you are, but I hope you're watching this video. And if so, it was very, very nice meeting you. That's how it works. They barter up Take here. a bite. I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. neat to eat. <laughs> yeah. long it been? I guess the water's pretty cool. I knew dang good and well. Have y'all seen these new coolers? They're called Rugged Road. Have you seen them yet? No. Watch this. Hey. Oh my gosh. Feel how light this is. So now you got a cutting board? Now I got a cutting board. There you go. We're gonna scale them. A lot of bones. I swear, I got this cooler the day before I left. I was like, I'm bringing that with me. That's coming with me. And 
sure enough. Did you know that the board came off? I did, that's why I bought oh, the okay. thing. <laughs> we'll take this and just... That looks amazing. Look at this. Smell that, dude. That smells so stinking good. Oh, I'm so happy they stopped by and asked for oil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we brought two cases just in case. <laughs> We're gonna bring more from now on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna eat it. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna uh, shoot yeah. three cows. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cow! <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It, remember, it fell on the ground. <laughs> so here's a piece of the fish. Out here in the wild, the natives eat a lot of the fish skin. Has a lot of omega e e e oil, omega fish oils, mm -hmm. and it's very very good for you. Oh, that skin is mm. delicious. Right over the open fire is crispy. Mm. Really good. I got an onion too. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's good. Dang. I took and scored it. So that when we cooked it, the, the bones cooked out of it. Mm. Mm. See how the bones aren't like yeah. prevalent? It's so good. Now, where's that fishing pole at? Load <laughs> 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 blow it up on these things. <laughs> they come here in ice fish form, they said. Really? Let's just go, yeah. Oh, that's being smart. Maybe we just stay here through the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Wood fire. Bro. Smoke. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Oh, which one? Which one? Mm. Damn, son. <laughs> okay. okay. We're going with that piece. Right there. It's still raw on the outside. It tastes so stinking good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smoke, birch smoke. Oh, that smoke is money. Mm. <laughs> mm. Awesome, dig in. Hey, all right, fish and, and moose, perfect. We're gonna straighten up camp. Looks like we're getting a little bit of cloud, wind. We might get some rain. Ready to go. Just gonna finish up camp. We'll see you guys with a gun in our hand. Yes. Correct. Hey Austin, do you have all your paperwork? Uh, it's in that. Uh, it's in the dash right there. It should be. The channel should be right there. Oh. 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 What time is it actually? Touch your front? It is 427. Oh wow. Give us time to go find a spot. Yeah. Do you want to explore up there a little bit? Mm-mm. That way? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Croc? I think I got a Mountain Dew. Just so you know, <laughs> there's actually four of us on the boat in Austin sucking back a Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it's just that kind of trip, you guys. I'm gonna kick some of this dirt off. Yeah. I like right here. You want me to jump off or tie us off? I'll just ease this up here. So, we've been looking at Onyx and we found a really good spot that we can get into. And I can see a trail right here. Oh my god. It's freaking gorgeous. Yeah. It's a moose. 
Yes, we literally just walked out here and about five or 600 yards away is a big, huge bull. And uh, I called him in. It was me. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> hey. Call loud we can't. when I'm looking at him and I want to see what his head does. That was a huge open marsh and the bull was about 1300 yards away from us and the wind was kind of going that way so we came back in here we're going to reposition with boat and see if we can't get in a more advantageous area inside the little boat and this flips up which gives me about twice as much room I'm saying here in here on the bed and the bed's not even as wide as me I was like golly but it's before daylight day two and uh, we're gonna get up eat some breakfast drink a lot of coffee and head out Hey, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. This is an absolutely amazing trip. I can't pack it all in one show, but I guarantee you there'll be much more from this trip in the very near future. We gone.